Hey, what is up everybody? Akame here with his buddies <laughs> Takumi and Vash. Now, how you doing? Yeah. <laughs> what up? Uh, um. Hi, how you doing? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I can't take this man seriously. But anyways, guys. <laughs> Anyways, guys, uh, what's going to go on here? We're going to be talking about about the potential growth of Goku and his new transformation. What could be possibly his latent abilities within that awakening and what could be possibly his weaknesses with regards to what we saw in episode 109. But anyways, first we're going to be talking about what we saw. So, Vash, you want to start us off? So we were talking about the new episodes that came out recently for Dragon Ball Super. Obviously, everyone's been hyped over the fact of Goku's quote-unquote new transformation and also looking at Jiren's power. Um, and that's pretty much what we're going to be discussing. That We're going to be discussing Jiren's power and, and um, how it's being compared to Goku's new transformation and what we're calling Ultra Instinct, which for me, I don't think is a transformation, so to speak. I think it's a technique more than anything else. Um, and I also think that it's also one of those things where it's more so just diving into the lore of what they consider martial arts. Um, for the longest time, I think, for DBZ, or I think a lot of people forget that in the beginning of Dragon Ball, it was really about martial arts. It was, was never really about... Arts. Yeah, it was never really about having all these crazy super-ass powers yeah. and, and shooting beams, you know what I mean? I mean, obviously those things came into play, right? But it was never always that. So I think um, moving forward, we might have a more in-depth like look in terms of um, the martial arts of the DBZ universe because it's obviously not you know it's completely different from what we consider martial arts in, re in reality, right? But yeah, um, I think the teachings anyway from Weiss and and uh, moving forward we might see some things from that. Um, I don't know if, if we're going to see Vegeta getting anything from this. Maybe they'll train in some form of nature. Um, at the same time, does this mean, uh, well, for me, it, it, it begs the question of what's going to happen after this whole arc. You know what I mean? Because we don't know. Yeah. I feel like, um, I feel like, you know, after this, Vegeta's not going to get jack shit. Um, I feel like, you know, e even though they have to keep him up there with his, uh, with, his, you know, his rival Goku, you know, um, oh my he, God. he's not going to get shit. I, I feel like he's really not going to get shit. Uh, besides maybe a little bit of a boot, but he's not getting anywhere near the what, what, what is it called again? The uh, the Ultra Instinct. Ultra Instinct. Yeah, I, I, was, I was about to say um, the fucking. <laughs> he's about to say Limit, limit breaker. breaker. Yeah. But, I mean, uh, I, I don't, I don't know. I, that just feels like a more correct, more title for it instead of of Instinct. It, it, yeah, Limit Breaker just sounds better. Yeah. I, I like it too. It's just that every time I think of it, because I play Final Fantasy, I think Cloud Strife is about to jump up into the fucking air with a sword or some shit. Yeah, he's not wrong, but still, it's just like the wording of Limit Breaker just sounds a little bit better. Cause like, don't forget, like during that whole time, like when Goku first fought, um, yeah. what the fuck was his name again? I, I forgot uh, the Frieza. freaking no, not Frieza. It was like during the first. It was a um, it was like a mock trial, and he had to fight one of the uh, troops. I forgot his name. Oh, Tapo? Yeah, Tapo. When he had to fight Tapo, yeah. and he said, I'll show you what it's like to um, go beyond my expectations or like above my limits. And they had to stop it. it to that point, it just felt like, okay, we're going to call it Limit Breaker by the time this transformation comes out. Because at first, they made it seem like, oh, this might be a mastery of like potential at least. Maybe it could be a potential of Mastered Kaioken, which to be honest, there's no way. Only reason... There's no way Goku's gonna be able to master Kaioken because that's like a drug. That's not really a transformation. It's a technique, and with that technique, it's almost like a drug. The instant that shit is used, you are straining your body to the point where you could, at least ninety nine point nine percent of the time, you have a good possibility of dying afterwards if you fuck up. Yeah, considering, considering the fact that he like basically busted every two seconds. Pause. Uh, <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I feel like I feel like he, he can at least get to fifty. I don't know. Man. I, I don't. I don't know. That seems a little too. I mean, then again, this is Dragon Ball Super. We're talking about. I mean, 
Goku, he's God at this point. At this point, he has nah. no limit. Nah, he's not, he's not God. I mean, God. he's at I mean, a God's yeah. level. Yeah, well, I think with, with Goku anyway, so we're going to start seeing like a shift in what we consider our transformation technique. Like, Kaioken has always been a thing where it's existed specifically for Goku or anyone who's trained with King Kai, which obviously there aren't anyone else that we know of. But I think that um, whenever whenever it comes to this quote-unquote, and again, I'm just going to continue to use the term Alter Instinct, but um, I think we're going to see more so the growth of these characters in terms of abilities through technique opposed to transformation. And I think that's the biggest thing here. I think we're going to see the evolution of that. Sure, the transformations are important, and it's how you're able to obtain some form of skill. Yep. But I don't think... Um, I don't think transformations are going to be a big thing anymore because when you look at some of the characters that already exist, sure, Frieza got a massive boost when he goes gold, gold, right? When you look at a character like Jiren, Jiren don't got to transform for nobody. Jiren, oh my god, in episode one of mine was just complete bullshit. I don't, nothing I don't understand about fucking Jiren is the fact that this nigga got some fucking, um, some sort of fucking, um, <laughs> What did what they call it? He has some sort of fucking dojutsu, my nigga. He might. This, okay, this nigga can look at people. Like, he's, he's sitting there just glaring at niggas and wrecking shit. Like, how? Like, it got to the point where, like, when Goku was pushing back this. And then fucking Jiren just took his hands off the shit and stared at it for, like, two seconds. And it was pushing it back a lot harder. Like, how do you get stronger? without having to touch something. I don't understand that. I have no idea, man. I mean, we can always, I mean, I'm always looking at technical perspective because I'm always fucking looking at shit that way, but I mean, you can always just look at the, the whole key perspective. Like, every anything that exists in this, if you whether you're a human, whether you're another race, key is a universal thing that exists, right? Yeah. So, more than likely, it could be this thing where Jiren is, has mastered the key to, uh, to a complete degree that's beyond the comprehension of any other mortal that we've seen so far. Jiren is being considered the strongest mortal that there is there um, in regards to the, the minor universes that are, that are participating in this, this tournament. So could be the fact that his key surpasses what they really expect from the norm. Or it could be the fact that just Jiren is a completely different entity you know, altogether. And when I say that, I'm not saying that he's above a god of destruction or, or a supreme Kai or anything like that. But it's just to say that he's capable of holding a title elsewhere if it existed. So Theoretically, yeah. what if there were a possibility that Jiren actually was a god of destruction who cheated and decided to participate in the tournament? Is that a possibility, maybe? I don't see I Jiren being there. a type of nigga. I don't see I Jiren mean... on A niggas. I know I'm a guy to struck, but I don't want to do that no more. I want I want to go in this tournament. Of course, I, I, feel, me... I feel like they would notice that shit too. Like, yeah, I really mean, no, but not one of, notice that. I mean, if that's the case, especially, then especially since doesn't Zeno appoint who's a god of destruction? Zeno pisses me off. Zeno would Zeno would know that he would have let the nigga in knowing god of destruction. That's true. But I mean, like, I don't know. I feel like, the, I I don't know. Somewhere in the back of my head, there's something like, why do I feel like Jiren is that universe's god of destruction and not the person sitting on that bunch? No, I think I think that guy is is the god of destruction for that universe. For me, I think, uh, and this is this only this makes me question Zeno a lot. At the end of the day, I don't care what Noah says. Even though Zeno is able to destroy things in the blink of an eye, it doesn't change the fact that he has a child like he nature. has the maturity level so, of a child. Still, that's the yeah, thing. Yeah, so. Yeah, so when you look at the whole idea behind this tournament, right? Do you really think this child, childish ass nigga decided to say, "Hey, we have too many universes that are weak. Let's have a tournament to determine who can stay and who's gonna go." Well, please, I mean, I, don't, I, don't I see mean, I feel I like can... maybe like his personality's waver. I feel like he has like a disability and stuff. I'm not saying that he does, but like it just feels like. <laughs> No, he just feels no. It's just the way his character goes. He'll go from happy to pissed off out of nowhere. It's like he has bipolar disorder out of nowhere. But then at the same time, it's like this nigga schizophrenic. That kind of possibility. That's there. Still... There could be that, or it could just be the fact that the Grand Priest is really using this motherfucker. 
that's, I mean, that's a very common thing, which is very possible, knowing that, like, sometimes the servants always try to overthrow their king just to be dominant because they probably feel like, oh, we don't like this king, so let's override him. But yeah. at the same time... You're not gonna say pause? No. <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to. Because I'm not you. <laughs> but anyways. Um, but about Goku, though... But how is his transformation, like, the main key to, like, awakening that full potential? Because from what we saw from episode 109, we saw that he technically absorbed the powers of his spirit bomb, and all of a sudden, that came back. So, well, like... because from what, from what, uh, from what Whis had said, he was saying that Goku got killed by the spirit bomb, but his life energy used the energy from the spirit bomb... He, it was on some anime ass shit. Like he, his willpower used the spirit bomb power to possess a new body. <laughs> like that's what I got from what we said. Okay, that sounds so, so me, weird. That's like saying on, that he cheated death, on. but dead. But yet he's a zombie. So let me, so let me, let me translate his nigga speech. To, <laughs> <laughs> to what I, to what he's trying to say. All right, what happened <laughs> was that. When Goku was was pushing back the spirit bomb, when but when when Jiren and Goku were both both trying to push it back and forth, um, it got so condensed that it was going to explode. Now when Jiren completely pushed it back to Goku, all of that hit Goku. In a sense, Goku would have died. But because Goku has so much, I, I guess you could say, um, I'm not gonna say rage because rage would be very vague to use. Anime willpower. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, let's go with that. Let's go with anime willpower, right? Because he has so much anime willpower, and because his body was already depleted of ki, it wasn't the fact that his ki grew stronger, it's the fact that the power from the spirit bomb became his source of energy. That's why he has so much heat. So you, so you think in a sense it was more like he dispatched his former ki to absorb new ki? You think that's the possibility? I think, I think yeah, I think he absorbed that, that ki, or that ki from the spirit bomb, and then, because people will look at this, because remember, if you look back in the past, the same concept was used for Super Dragon Fist originally, right? When he goes to Super Saiyan 3. But the difference with that is that with Super Saiyan 3, it's it, one is Super Saiyan, so it's not breaking the boundary. Sure. And, he's, and he's not absorbing the key, he's just simply morphing the key, which is different. And this, because he's able to take the key from the spear bomb and, and essentially put it in his body at this point, he's able to you know attain new heights. I don't know how that's going to translate into him being able to do that on a regular basis, though. Yeah, that, that's the thing. I was thinking, like, yeah, this might be one of Goku's, I guess you can say, new transformations, right? To be honest, but I would go as far as saying I, it's not, Trump card. I feel like it's, I feel like it's, it's not going to be a thing that Goku <laughs> can even, I guess you can say, learn and use on a regular basis. Like, I feel like with this... Because since it, it had a lot to do with the spirit bomb, he's not going to be able to use it on a regular basis. Maybe he could use it like once or twice. I mean, or something after the after the fact and like, you know, try to, I guess, use it or something. I don't know. I, mean, I just feel like I feel like Goku's only going to use that if it's a really necessary case of whoever's like a powerful foe or whoever. Such as Jiren, in which case, which, be honest, really dominated the shit out of Goku Super Saiyan Blue into Kaioken times 20 was almost similar to like when Goku first fought Frieza and he was using Kaioken times 10. And yeah, Frieza was still whooping his ass, but then somehow he still got a transformation to make him overcome that obstacle. I mean, yeah, but the thing is, we're, we're talking about... See, Kaioken is an actual like, transformation he can do... It's not a transformation, himself. though. That's the With, thing. Well, it's, it's... It's a technique that he can use with that... With, with like, he can train and use it with this for all we know it was just the power of the spirit bomb that had to do with anything well it's it's the power of the spirit bomb but at the end of the day the power of the spirit bomb is coming from other key as well as his own True. i think i think the whole thing with this and again not no pun intended but i think if they're going to move forward with him being able to do that he's going to have to be able to do it instinctively and the reason why I say that is because just to go over like some little basics about Saiyans, right? 
And there's always the old thing where, you know, every time a Saiyan fights a battle, whether he loses or wins, he grows stronger from it, right? Yeah. But primarily, if they lose, it had to be, like, at the brink of death, though. It can't just be a regular loss, right? Right. So, I think this is the one arc where Goku should be able to grow from more than anything else. Because, in all honesty, Goku has probably fought some of the strongest um, individuals. Not villains, mind you. He's fought some of the strongest individuals that he's ever faced before in his entire, you know, lifetime in, in regards yeah. to the series. So, I think that after this, regardless of how this whole arc goes, because we don't know for sure yet, I think that this whole... I don't look at this as a transformation. I think people need to stop looking at it that way. Yeah, I don't look at this as think... a transformation, because yeah. I think it's a technique. I'm, yeah. I'm going to go with that. Because the way I feel, like, for it to be a transformation, I feel like there would have to be some sort of... Uh, how do I put this? Well, Shit, a transformation. I can't, I can't find a word. Well, for a transformation, it should be a like natural feeling. Cause here's how I know this between how a technique and how a transformation should be recognized. But a transformation, you should realize that like both your physical body and you as a person, when using this technique, is supposed to feel natural and like your body is actually yeah. able to connect with it. If it's a technique, it's a temporary boost that could possibly harm the body. But with a yeah, transformation, like, it actually stays with you. It's not a harming thing unless you go beyond that point, such as Kaioken. Yeah, like this, I feel like... The reason I feel like it's a technique is because, as um, you were talking about earlier, Vash, how we told... Uh, it, it, I don't. I forget when it happened. We told him like, to try not to fight while thinking or whatever and apparently um instinct is fighting without thinking first so i think there, there would have to be some sort of training to do that because obviously even go even though goku is fucking retarded he still thinks as he fights like he, you can't it's hard to shut off your thinking but still naturally move well, well, I mean, now, there's a possibility now, that, like, there's always that good chance that, like, you're so into it that, like, sometimes your mind just reacts on its own. Like, yeah, say, like, even now I'm talking without fucking thinking, but I'm thinking at the same time. If, if it, if I know, it's, I know what you're trying to say. It's like just reinforced information that you know about and what you know. But like at the same time, but yeah. like, like I know I'm not supposed to bring up new anim uh, animes and stuff to relate. But like, let's put Kuroko no Basket for that. The zone method. They have to be so immensely oh, yeah. trained into that, yet it's so related to Goku's point because at the same time, I feel like it also has to take an immense amount of energy to actually unleash his new technique, of which will be the Limit Break, which I'm calling it as well. But with the Limit Break, I just feel like it's something that requires both an intense amount of fighting, as well as experience in fighting, as well as the Spirit Bomb. I don't think it's just the Spirit Bomb itself to make that instinct go up there like that. That would just be a little too overpowered in my opinion. Well, yeah. and, and just to clarify a lot of the things that, I've just, that was just said, to make it easier for some of you people that are probably following too much, there's the easiest, the easiest way to determine what's a transformation, what's a technique. Anything that was um, Super Saiyan related, whether it be Super Saiyan 1, 2, 3, 4, if you want to count on GT, if you want to, um, God, Super Saiyan Blue, all those things are transformations. Um, techniques would be things like KO Ken, and possibly this this new thing that we see, or the Limit Break, or Ultra Instinct, whatever you want to call it. But it does For have me, the potential to be a transformation, though. It has the potential. It has, it has the potential. What, 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 what would potential unleash be? Potential unleash would... That, That's I mean, a transformation. That, That'll be a transformation in itself. There's no technique to that. But yeah, back to what you were saying, saying Bosh. Yeah, no, I, I'm, the only reason I'm saying this is because it's the easiest way to, de to determine what is what. Each transformation that we've ever seen in DBZ or, or in Dragon Ball entirely has always been Saiyan related. Regardless if it's the, the, the Saiyan God form that we always seen back in the movie with the red shit. Or, you know, moving up forward from that is Super Saiyan Blue. Now, the one thing that we've always seen with, you know, now anyways, with Goku you know, Super Saiyan Blue, he's able to add Kaioken to that. You see what I'm saying? Kaioken yeah. is not a, a transformation. Him being able to do both proves that it's a technique. You see what I'm saying now? Yeah. yeah. So, whenever you, whenever you look at this new thing that they have going for him, you can look at it either or. I don't see Goku going Super Saiyan Blue and then being able to do that. That's an, I don't I really can see him go, going one. Exactly, regular Super Saiyan. I, I can see him. I can see him just doing that, 
but it not being a transformation, so to speak. I can see it being yeah. some form of technique. It comes up, and that's a problem because whenever, whenever we look at um, anime, right? Anything that's visually appealing or visually that's being altered, we as people, when we watch it, we look at it as a transformation when in truth it's just a technique. For instance, not to, in kind of the same way, not to go off topic whenever we go on to different anime, Bankai is not a transformation, that is a technique. You see what yeah. I'm saying now? Regardless of how many people will look at it that way, Naruto, Bunkai, Sage, um, Naruto Sage Mode is not. That's a technique all the way. That's a technique. Yeah, that's a technique all the way. That's not a transformation. Right. So I would say we kind of have to look at it from the same perspective for this whole new thing too. Now, that's a good thing in my in my in my case because I don't want this to be something that's going to be kept away from Vegeta. I hope that if this is a technique. And this is something that both Vegeta and Goku can obtain normally. But again, when we look at the story and we see how everything is going right now, we don't even know what's going to happen. And in fact, we don't even know if that's something that's going to, you know, reoccur. Considering the fact that at the end of this fucking episode, Freeza done looked at him like he was in jail. So I don't really know what we're going to be seeing. He said, "I'm coming for your ass." He said, "He said, nigga, you dropped the soap. I'm here now." <laughs> Like, all right guys i think i'm gonna end the video right here i hope you guys like what you guys are hearing and if you guys want to add more information on about this topic be sure to leave it in the comments below be sure to subscribe to my buddies vosh and takumi here they're awesome people vosh. yes i'm calling you vosh because it sounds better <laughs> but anyway it's all good it don't matter <laughs> but anyways guys um be sure to check them out the links will be in the descriptions with their version of the video and so yeah any you guys want to say anything before we end the video? I'm probably too lazy, so I probably won't upload this to my channel. No, uh, mine, mine, mine should probably be up if you read me. To, if he reminds the, you know, remembers the, send me the file. You know, go watch that. <laughs> you know what, man? Just keep practicing, stupid Griffin. You'll, you'll get there. No, I'm not, I'm, I'm not practicing, stupid <laughs> Griffin. I'm just, I'm just, you know, talking like this. You know, it's cool. <laughs> and this is where we end the video. Hope you guys had a nice time. Bye. There you go. You've heard of the Uchiha clan, yet you're challenging me? You must be even more psycho than you look. Be careful. You've entered into new territory, you know. It only takes one strike. You want to know more about my clan? Then I'll teach you. The hard way.